Oh, hey, Dad. I found this on the floor in the hallway. Ah, I must have dropped it earlier. My bad. I thought you might need it. Yeah. What was that thing you always used to tell me? If you lose your melons, you can't elope. <laughs> that was the one. That was it. I just wanted to tell you how happy I am that you're here you're supporting me. That really means a lot. Yeah, of course. Well, you should finish getting dressed. Okay. All right, I'll see you downstairs. I'll see you there. Hey. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm just finishing getting dressed. Do you need me to show you how? It's very funny, you are so funny. <sighs> Why pink? I'm sorry? Why pink? Out of all the colors in the spectrum, why's it gotta be pink? What's wrong with pink? I hate pink. It's just a color. No, it's not. Okay. I admit it's a bit on the nose, but it's what Dad picks, so you don't really have much of a choice. Lisa packed me the wrong size shirt. I look like a moron. Yeah, it's not the shirt. You know, statistically, men who remarry are more prone to reckless driving. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, shit, call dad, call off the wedding. His insurance company is gonna be pissed and his premiums are going to skyrocket. Can you not talk about work for like five minutes and tell me what's really going on with you? What are you talking about? Come on, Adam, stop beating around the bush. You're uncomfortable with the wedding, just admit it. Well... It's a little weird. What's weird? Oh, come on, Scott. Don't make me say it. Is it weird that our dad's getting remarried in his 50s? Is that it? Or is it weird that the wedding's on a Tuesday? Is that what's bothering Fuck you? Fuck you, okay? Oh, I know. Our father is a homo! Oh, uh, yes! Yes! You happy now? Is that what you wanted to hear? I just wanted to hear you say it. Well, it makes me uncomfortable. Why? Why can't you just be happy for him? I don't know. It's not like you didn't know. It's been pretty obvious for a while now. Yeah, but nobody ever said it. It was like this unspoken rule that, even though it was obviously happening, if nobody said it, then it wasn't real. Well, it's real. It's happening. It's crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I would vote for gay marriage if it was on a ballot or something. I, I, I would be pro, yes. like, voting for it. It's just, I, I didn't think it was going to hit so close to home. It's dad. Yeah. <laughs> and with David. <laughs> with David! <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense. They were always very close when we were kids. <laughs> oh, he used to babysit us. Uncle David. <laughs> Uncle David. Oh my God, what are we gonna call him now? <laughs> I don't know. 
David? Oh, you're a smart ass. <laughs> oh my god, man. Life is so weird. <laughs> oh, it's just... Lisa's pregnant. I know. How am I going to tell my son that he's got two grandpas? It's a boy? What? Oh, God, I hope so. I know, but we don't know yet. Um, I just, how am I going to tell him or her or whatever? Just be honest. It's not that crazy of a concept. If you're okay with it, they will be too. Yeah, I guess. But you have to be okay with it. Yeah, I will be. It's just gonna take me some time. Yeah, for all of us. You think mom knew? I don't know. I think maybe some part of her always knew and just kind of lived in denial. <sighs> Must be hard for her. Oh, I can only imagine. You know, I think it's actually best that she couldn't make it. Although it's great that dad invited her. Yeah. I'm glad they're so close. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, look, I, I probably should have said something earlier, but thanks for helping me out with my flight. Yeah, of course. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you back. Yeah, you will. I'll put it on your tab. You gonna be okay out there? Yeah. I gotta be. It's dad. It's dad. <clears throat> Let me get the buttons. There you go. You know, we need you looking sharp. There's gonna be a lot of single guys out there, so. You dick. Come on. Come here. <laughs> See you out there, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna finish. <clears throat> Invested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce David and Mark.